What's up, YouTube? It's your girl. The camera be recording, and I don't be doing. Once again, I'm on my brother's camera. Hey, y'all. It's your girl, Cory Bella, coming to y'all with a very quick outfit of the day, and as well as a mini review of a play. Um, the play is Tyler Perry's The Have and The Have Nots, and um, I just went to see my dad and my stepmom, and just came back. So first, I'll do a very quick outfit of the day, show you guys what I wore to the play, and then I'll tell you guys my thoughts on it. So hair, you guys know her, Carrie. Yeah, yeah. Earrings came from Badass Platinum off Facebook if you haven't checked her out and you like kind of the basketball inspired earrings definitely go check her out got these from her they were pretty reasonably priced yeah they were pretty cheap I think yeah like under ten dollars if I'm not mistaken because I caught her on a sale day I believe yeah go check her out got this a oh, while wow, got on these remember I tried to keep my outfit very casual I want to be comfortable but cute at the same time so yeah um, makeup very simple concealer um, all I did was put a highlight under my eyebrows I think I used the um, the elf highlighter under my eyebrows I didn't put any eyeshadow on I lined my bottom line with a, a brown liner I did use um, I think Bordeaux no Bordeaux I used a La Femme blush I can't remember because it's kind of washed out anyway and um, on my lips I used the NK this NK liner in dark brown and on top, I use the NK lipstick in Bordeaux. This is in Bordeaux. And it looks a little bit lighter. You can't see it. It's number 905 Bordeaux by Nika K. NK. Y'all see? The logo? Okay. And yeah, it's a little bit more darker in person. It's kind of like that vampy, reddish, purple color. And it's a really nice color. And I think it complements my skin tone really well. As you guys can see, it's a little bit darker. Okay. So I really like this. This is, this is my first time wearing it. I actually just picked up a few more Nika K products. So um, I'll probably go ahead and share that. Did I put that on my haul? No, I just got that stuff like the other day. So yeah, I'll probably do a video showing you guys what I got. Matter of fact, I'll just think I'm going to do a Nika K haul type of thing. Okay? And um, for bracelets and rings, this only bracelet I wore. It's just something I got a while back. I cannot even remember where I got this from. But just this little bracelet. And I just threw on basically a skirt, some leggings, some boots, and a blazer. And kind of this uh, carnival type thing. I'll just get up and show y'all. So, y'all see the skirt a lot, but. So, underneath this, I just have this carnival. It's kind of with the lace back. As you can see, very niche and see through back with this skirt. And this is just a regular black tank top. And then um, I high waisted it because it is kind of a long skirt. So on top of the cardigan, I just that to throw on this blazer. Since it is chilly here in Chicago. And then these are my boots. And then you can roll these with bad boys all the way up. You can keep it like that. You can put them all the way down like this very versatile what you can do with these boots so I really like them kind of warm like this with Georgia today so yeah that's pretty much it for the outfit um skirt was from I think a gossip was forever 21 the black simple regular black uh tank top you can get those pretty much anywhere black blazer came from just many years ago when I was at high school and boots I want to say came from famous footwear I want to say last last winter not 100% sure. And the Carnegie came from Ross. I got this when I was in Houston, like in around March of this year. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for the outfit of the day. Hair, everything else, same. So, to the play. Um, I really like the message of the play. I really like Tyler Perry. I guess I would say I'm a fan. So, I guess I'm a little biased. Um, I'm not like, oh my God, super supporter. Every time he comes out with something, I buy. I wouldn't say that. But I would say that um, I do enjoy supporting black um, producers, black plays, black playwrights. In general, just to you know, continue to support uh, my people. I support anybody with something good, generally, but just a little bit about me and what I'm about. That's that. Um, I thought the play was pretty typical, though. The have, the have not. It wasn't. I don't think anything happened that you would wouldn't expect from the title. Basically, the have and the have nots. You know, there are people who are more privileged, and then there are people who are not. Pretty typical play about. Um, a black guy who's wealthy marries a young, pretty, um, stuck-up, snooty young woman who uses him for his, for his money, and then he has to help 
who basically are unfortunate and need help and um, they come across some hard times and it was to me it was a very typical play typical drama type of movie nothing out of the ordinary really happened so I can't really praise it in that sense as if something happened that I was not expecting because that's not the case it was very well played out. I think the, the um, actors did a very good job portraying the roles but it was nothing like out of the ordinary to me I did enjoy it I had to spend time with my dad and everything so that was cool and um, it was like my first was it my first play like not my first play in life but like her first play this year and I think that was my first actual time seeing a Tyler Perry play so yay for that um one of the characters I liked the best was I think her name was Nettie Nanny of course she was like a old like one of the old matriarchs of the family and she just was crazy she was goofy she was crazy she was keeping it real and it was crazy I, I will say to check it out if you have the opportunity to but um I liked her character. She just was strong. She had a nice sense of humor. She was down to earth, funny. Um, I liked the characters. I can't remember their names. I just saw it. That's crazy. Um, the the woman who played the wife. I liked her character because she was really strong. Her face was excellent um, in the Lord. She just was really fervent. She just was really prayerful and just, she just had faith. Oh my God. And you know Tyler Perry. Stay bringing some sexy men in his plays and it was like the father he looked so good y'all he was nicely built chocolate he was sexy and then we had um i cannot remember his name but i know here on youtube it's like the craig and david or craig matthews band he was one of the guys that sang in another title player he played he was in it so he also does an excellent job at um singing and acting and um there was another character he was the rich guy he had a his role at first was like, oh, so irritating, just so, oh my gosh, snooty and just so caught up in the whole woman, caught up in this woman that his, he was blinded by everything. It was ridiculous, typical, and um, he had a wonderful voice. I like the singing. I like the, um, I like their voices. They all had some really nice voices, obviously. And um, who else was there? Floyd, of course, from um, um, not Meet the Browns. The play, one of the Tyler LaPerry shows, I can't think of it, but he plays uh, one of the workers in the barbershop. Y'all know Floyd. Most people know Floyd. He was excellent, funny as usual. Um, and who else? I think that was the cast. I think it was like six people, six seven people cast, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, overall, I don't want to give the play a grade, I don't think. Uh, I don't know. I mean, 